Here we are looking at here we are looking at inverse sine. So just recently we did a question along the lines. Let's have a look at this question here. We'll just have a go at this one over here. So I've got my triangle, got my x, got my 58, got my 7, I've got my 9. Okay. I can see two sides and two angles. So I'm going to label this with my non-right angle triangle system. And I don't need the C. I'm not going to use the C in this question. Looking for an angle, so I do believe I'm going to write sin A on little a or sin B on little b. Now, let's put our numbers in. There's my unknown letter equals 7 equals sin 58 divided by 9. So we simply multiply by this free number down the bottom here, whether or not it's a sin or in this case a straightforward number. And we're ready to put this into the calculator. So I'm just going to calculate this bit first. 7 times sin 58. We'll put that in a bracket. 58 all divided by 9. So that's 0 0.6. Five nine etc. Now we go shift sin shift answer, and we get x equals forty one point two six. Okay. However, we've got this picture, and if I was actually to type in what is sin of one hundred and eighty take that last answer. And I'll get this same number. So the problem here is this this number could be around about 41 or it could be 139 is equal to 180 take 41. Now for this picture we can see that we've got the diagram, we've been given the diagram and it doesn't look like it could be this number. It looks like it should be just this 40. Okay, also this side is 7. So if this was 140, um, the 7 would have to be bigger than the 9. So from this picture, it's pretty clear that this has got to be. However, the maths from the calculator, we could have 41 or we could have 180 take 41, 139. There's two possible answers here. Like in this, normally for right angles triangles, you're never gonna get the other answer because here's 90 degrees is all used up. So if this is 40, couldn't possibly be 140 because 90 degrees is used up. So this is gonna be called our ambiguous case. Not ambiguous in this question that I've just done. Misspelled it again. Okay, but uh, we'll be in the other cases. So if we look at these two examples that are in the book here, initially we've got the letters and we don't have the picture. You've drawn the picture, but this picture could have been drawn another way. It could have been, oh, that was eight and that was 12. Okay, so this picture looks like when it's 44, and this picture would look like when it's 130. Okay, so I'll just erase this part here and we'll have a look at those two questions. So these are the two examples from the book. Algebra is in the book and the explanation is so much in the book. All I'm going to look at is we've got to this last line. This could have been 44 or 45, 12 and 8. And 28 or it could have been 8 12 and this side could have been a lot longer and there would be about 135 28 both those are possible because this 138 fits 35 fits with the 28 if we look at the second picture that we were given 
This is another one though. So here's the 52. That's 152. Here's 128. Here's L or the letter that we're looking for. Now we know the biggest angle is opposite the biggest side. This side is 152. So this angle L has to be less than 52. Also, if we look at the two possibilities from the K algebra, we get S equals 39.7 or around about 40. The other possibility to consider is 180 take 1440 or 144, 140. Does not fit, does not fit with the 52, the original 52 in the picture. 140 plus 52 is too big. It's bigger than 180. It doesn't fit in a triangle. But then there's the other bit of reasoning that, hey, if this is 52 and that's 152, this side here is smaller, so that angle has to be smaller. That all holds true. So now we'll do a couple of these and uh, we'll see how we go. Only have to worry about this for inverse sign. Inverse cos has this all sorted out. You will never see a problem. Only with inverse sign, only with without right angles, without a 90 degree angle. Questions with a 90 degree angle, it's simply the smaller number. Okay, we'll move on.